Now let's look at the final type of a special relation which is known as a equivalence relation. Okay. A relation is said to be equivalence if it is reflexive, symmetric and transitive. Okay. So a relation is equivalence relation if it is reflexive if it is symmetric and if it is also transitive. So that is your definition for an equivalence relation. Okay. So now let's take an example and understand it better. Let us suppose my R is equal to A comma A B comma B B comma C okay C comma B and C comma C okay I am saying that R is in relation from A to A where A is equal to A comma B comma C now let us check out if my R is equivalent so for that first we are going to check out if it is reflexive okay I say that R is reflexive because it has all A comma A B comma B and C comma C present okay you have A comma A you have B comma B and you have C comma C reflexive because A comma A B comma B and C comma C are present. Okay. Now let's check if it is symmetric. Symmetric means if you have X comma Y then you should have Y comma X. I say that R is symmetric because let's see over here we have B comma C then we also should have C comma B which is actually present okay and all other are B comma B in any way is also symmetric okay so R is symmetric because B comma C comma C comma B are present okay now let's check out if my R is transitive actually R is also transitive okay let us see why R is transitive because because of this just check out over here I have B comma C I have C comma B which means I should also have B comma B and actually I do have B comma B present okay so because B comma C comma C comma B and B comma B are present okay are present so that is the reason just check out one thing more as well over here since you have C comma B and you have B comma C okay then you should also have C comma C present and actually C comma C is also present okay so because of this reason my R is also transitive So since R is transitive, symmetric and reflexive therefore I can say that R is an equivalence relation. Okay. Now we are going to see what do we mean by equivalence class of a relation. Okay. We are going to see equivalence classes 